Hi, I'm Paul McNabb, VP of Enterprise Mid Market Solutions here at Cisco. What I want to do is give you um, some latest news of the joint solutions that Cisco and VMware have been working on that enables um, customers to migrate their virtual machines across wide area links. A major new capability um, with an awful lot of benefits to our customers. So Cisco and VMware have been working together for more than three years now across multiple areas. One area we've been focused on lately is the vMotion capability, particularly over a wide area link. Now why is this important? Suppose you've got hardware maintenance issues, uh, you want to be able to move applications um, to make sure you don't have downtime from an application, particularly business critical applications. Suppose you want to do workload balancing, suppose you have um, a natural um, uh, uh, calamity occurring, an earthquake or something, you want to be able to move to have disaster avoidance. All of these reasons are why you want to be able to move your applications between data centers. The big issue here is, suppose those data centers are 100 miles apart, you do not want to lose the application, you do not want your business application to go down. So what we've been working together between VMware and Cisco is leverage the benefits of your server virtualization and all the intelligence within your Cisco network. Things like extended VLANs between your data centers. Obviously security is critical as you move your data across a wide area link, particularly the data center interconnect. You want to make sure it's very, very secure. Your virtual SAN environment and all the inter vSAN routing that you need, the whole, and hierarchical QoS, another example. The whole point here is you want to make sure that the application visibility to the end user remains the same. I talk to a lot of customers, they love the idea about moving um, their applications from place to place, but all of these things I just raised, the questions they ask me is it going to be secure? Am I going to have downtime, etc., etc. So the whole point here is leverage the virtualization capability from VMware and the intelligence of your Cisco network. So this isn't just a one-time event. This is an ongoing um, effort here. And so we'll obviously be working with lots of different applications, improving the performance, adding um, different kind of server and storage capability to these solutions. So what you'll see is continued news as we continue to work on this very critical area for our customers. So Cisco and VMware are working in lots of different areas. As, as I said, we've been working and collaborating for three years now. But other things like UCS, Unified Computing System, I'm sure you've heard a lot about that. Um, the, the Nexus 1KB, Unified Fabric, um, the VNLink capability, a lot, and obviously now we're talking about vMotion. A lot of these technologies I've talked about are already included in the VNMotion. For example, I talk about VNLink and the capability, for example, as I move these virtual machines, I want my policy to stay with these virtual machines. The last thing you want to do is have to reconfigure your policy. So as I move one virtual machine to another data center, for example, I want my security policy, for example, to move with it. So all of these um, collaborative efforts all come together in a continued manner to benefit our mutual customers. We all love the latest technology. Believe me, I'm, I love them more than most. But the whole point, what has driven this, is what are our customers' business requirements. Business agility, for example, where the CEO says to the CIO, I don't want an IT to be considered an expense. I want to turn on applications far more quickly based on business opportunity. Business agility, very, very important. How quickly can I turn on my application? And then have follow the sun. I want to move that application to where it's required, in another theater, in another country. Business agility, very important. Total cost of ownership. Total cost of energy and power, improve security, improve performance. These are the issues that are driving our customers. And as we migrate towards cloud, migrating from a CapEx to an OpEx environment where you pay as you use, all of these things are really what are driving the business issues that drives the technology. As much as I would love the technology to be the reason, it's the business issues that our customers are now having to address. So we'll be showing the VM Motion capability um, at VMworld this week. So please come by to the booth 2118 in the South Hall. We also have the Unified Computing System 
um, uh, providing all the infrastructure for the VMworld lab capabilities. So you'll see that in the main conference hall as well. And if you actually see me walking along the corridors, then feel free to reach out, happy to have dialogue with you. Take care, see you soon.